Are you prepared to uncover the secrets of crafting captivating UI UX designs for your website, app, or any other design project? Well, you've arrived at the perfect destination. Today, I will introduce you to an amazing online tool called Figma that will streamline your design process. And the best part is, you don't need any prior design experience. With Figma, you have the creative freedom to design anything your heart desires, from breathtaking websites to visually striking app interfaces. What sets Figma apart is its seamless collaboration feature, enabling multiple individuals to collaborate on your design simultaneously. You can also gather valuable feedback from your collaborators. And Figma comes with a mobile companion app, allowing you to preview your creations from your phone. Oh, and did I mention the best part? Figma is completely free to use, making a designer's dream come true. Throughout this video, we break down the entire process step by step, so you don't miss a single detail. And let's get started. First things first, let's create your Figma account. Click the link below this video and select Get Started. You can sign up with Google or enter your details manually. I'll use my Google account. After the verification process, fill these details and click Next. You can also invite collaborators or skip this step for now. Then click Start for free. Next, click here, and you'll land on your Figma dashboard. Click Design File to enter the design area. You can create designs using these tools. OK. To begin the process of creating a website design, we begin by choosing a suitable framework. Simply click here and you will be presented with various frame options to choose from. Since we are customizing this design for our website, we choose the desktop framework. You will see that the frame is now available. Our next step is to set up separate sections for our website design. To do this, click here and create a section like this. To customize its color, click here and choose the color that matches your design vision. Now it's time to fill your design with textual content. Click here to add text. From here, you are free to choose the font and resize the text to align with your design preferences. In a similar way, you can add any text components you want. Moving on, let's add an image to our design. To achieve this, drag the desired image from your computer onto the canvas. Then you can resize the image and position it exactly where you want. This way, you can create sections and infuse your design with content, ultimately shaping your website design. Armed with this knowledge, you now have the ability to create a user interface design that is specifically tailored to your website. Now, let's explore the process of creating a UI design for a mobile app. Start by clicking here and selecting the phone option. For example, I would opt for the iPhone 14 Pro Max frame. Once you've chosen the framework, you can use Figma's tools to design your app's interface, just like we created the website. When creating a UI design, there is a shortcut that can make the process much simpler, using templates. Of course, we break this down into three simple steps. The first step involves choosing a template for your design. To do this, go back to the Files section and click on Explore Community. Here you will be able to search for a UI design template. Let's say you're interested in creating a design for a food app. Simply type in food app and you'll be presented with a range of templates to choose from. Once you find one that matches your vision, click on it to preview the design. If it's the one you want, click get a copy or open in Figma. And now you have the UI design template at your disposal. Now let's move to the second step, which is to edit this UI design. To change any element within the design, it is as simple as double-clicking on it. Let's start with something basic like changing the background image. Just click, select, choose, and pick an image from your computer.
You can also modify text by double clicking, altering text size and font. Change the color of elements like buttons to match your brand or design vision. We are done with the basic changes. Now let's master the art of starting from a blank canvas. Begin by clicking Frame, selecting your desired device and giving it a name. Design your elements, such as images and text, by simply dragging and dropping. You can even add rounded corners to images for a more polished look. Use the text option to add content and duplicate buttons as needed. Make your design user-friendly by adding navigation icons. First, install an icon plugin by clicking Plugins and searching for icons. Select one, sign up if needed. You can then add icons to your design and change their color and opacity. To see your design in action, click play and navigate through frames. Now let's take a look at creating interactive prototypes in Figma. Prototyping is where your static designs come to life, allowing you to visualize user interactions. First, ensure you have your design laid out with multiple artboards or screens representing the different states or screens in your app or website. To start prototyping, head over to the Prototype tab on the right sidebar. This is where the magic happens. Now, simply select an element you want to make interactive like a button and drag an arrow to the screen it should link to. Figma makes this process incredibly intuitive. Choose the interaction trigger, typically on-click, and specify the transition animation. You can select from options like Push, Overlay, or Dissolve for a polished look. That's the basics of creating prototypes in Figma. It's a powerful way to bring your designs to life and ensure they work as intended. Finally, to see your design animation in action, click play and navigate through the frames. Now that your UI design is taking shape, let's explore how you can collaborate 
and share your masterpiece with others. Sharing is easy in Figma. Simply click on the Share button. Next, enter the email address of the person with whom you want to share your design. You can also fine-tune their access rights. If you want them to only view your designs, that's easy to set up. Click Send Invite and you're good to go. Your collaborator will receive an email from Figma. When they open that email and click Open in Figma, they'll instantly see your design. Plus, they can comment and provide feedback directly on your UI design. Now that your design is polished and perfected, let's talk about how to export it for different use cases. First, you can easily download a single design to your computer. Simply select the design you want and click Export. You'll then be prompted to customize your export settings. Once satisfied, click Export again, and your design will be promptly downloaded. But what if you want to download all your designs in one go? Figma makes it easy. Simply press Coral plus A to select all the frames. Here you can choose the file type that best suits your needs. I'm going with JPG for this example. Click Export, and you'll notice your designs are downloaded as a convenient zip file, keeping everything organized and tidy. Lastly, you can also share your design with your phone for a quick preview. It's a great way to see how your design looks on different devices. And that wraps up our Figma UI design tutorial. We've covered the fundamentals, from creating layouts to interactive prototypes. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep honing your skills. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe for more design tutorials. Have questions or need assistance? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to see your incredible designs. Stay creative.